How's it going everybody? T-Biz here and I want to check out the latest Mythic Legions figure I picked up. It's uh, Atlas the Conqueror. Very cool figure. Um, I already put him together uh, because uh, he just looks sick. We'll, you know, deconstruct him in a little bit and check him out bit by bit. But uh, without further ado, I want to check out some of his bio right here on the side of the card. If you can uh, get that to focus. But yeah, pretty much explains his uh, history and stuff. Um, more lore on the um, on the Mythic Legions right here that can focus and you can pause it and read it because it's a lot. Uh, more of the figures, some available, some not available. Uh, some I've reviewed, like this guy. Um, info on Mythic Legions, MythicLegions.com, SourceHorseman.com, StoreHorseman.com. Card art, amazing, really, really amazing. From front to back, just uh, really good artwork. Just amazing, just really nice. It's just like that's, that's just a nice piece. If they made a poster of that, it'd be worthy of having. Or if you got one printed out like that, it'd be pretty cool. And it's cool because you can just slide it right through back onto the plastic, and uh, you can pretty much just store these figures in a collectible fashion, which is pretty cool. And um, without any further ado, let's check out Atlas the Conqueror. This is probably one of the sickest figures I've seen in a while. He's pretty cool. All these figures are really great. Um, Head sculpt's awesome. He's got a really cool scar, hair, beard, everything sculpted pretty well. Looks like he's got a green eye. Uh, just very tough. Just a lot of good detail, like on the pauldrons and stuff like that. Sword, everything. He comes with a really cool dagger. Uh, he got an axe that he better ask somebody about. And uh, yeah, just a nice uh, paint wash and stuff like that. Nice browns and stuff and. Uh, Beige tan flesh colors and stuff, and uh, just really good uh, paint job. Got the Gene Simmons kiss boots, which are, look pretty cool. He looks like he's like the master of kiss, like he created kiss or something. This guy's so sick. He's just, just awesome. Um, just great detail on the paint on the pauldrons. Just everywhere, there's just really superb detail. Everything about these figures are, is really great, and just they're just phenomenal and awesome. Uh, these pauldrons do pop off on the peg, so you can pop them off, which is cool, and put them back on, do whatever you want with them, and uh, yeah, everything comes off and on, which is pretty cool, and uh, really, really cool, because you can just change the accessories and stuff, and uh, do whatever you want, like, um, you can also take the other part of the axe off, and uh, put, you can actually put a whole nother, uh, piece right there a spike so you can do that you can interchange it which is pretty cool and it comes with various weapons it comes with this cool dagger which is really neat but his hands are pretty stiff so be careful when you're trying to put I've never broken anything on these yet but uh, you know it could always change but uh, yeah, it comes with this awesome dagger sculpt on that's really nice really cool very fierce looking but yeah cool nonetheless uh, he's got a pretty nifty sword you can put uh, this little leather strap off you can take it off and on you can just pop his uh, waist out right there his torso and yeah you can just take that right off pop it right back on you can take his loincloth off put it right back on and pop him easy peasy so it's not too bad not too bad at all then here's the sword, really good sculpt on the sword. Pretty much uh, a lot of these figures come with the same swords, but just painted a little differently, which is really cool. And just a very nice weapon piece, just very cool. Same with the leather strap for the belt. Really cool paint, just really nice. Really, really nice. And here's the figure himself, we'll take a look. Uh, pretty cool, like I said. It's got uh, really decent articulation. Spin around, you got shoulder articulation, you got elbow, you got wrist, but the wrist only does so much because this armor piece kind of hinders it. So, just to let you know, so you don't break yours or do whatever. But I don't think you could really break this, but you don't want to try. But yeah, you can do splits, you can do kick or Van Halen jump or whatever, you know. Very cool. Got a knee joint. That whole leg spins around. 
got a ball joint rocker pivot on the foot which is cool and all in all just a really fierce figure just really great and just I don't know I can't I can't express how much I don't, I don't I enjoy these figures they're just really neat but they're not cheap by any means I paid at least over 50 to 50 bucks on bigbadtoystore.com to get these figures they're not cheap they will put you in the hole especially if you have to pay a lot of bills and stuff and uh, yeah they're just really really nice so focus yeah that's just I don't know they're very amazing just I don't know I can't I, I'm just blabbing but like yeah just a really really good figure just a really nice figure and like I've said and a lot of us have talked about it some of these independent companies have their ups and downs like my friend uh, Brian uh, Starner Toy Nuts and Dismania 65 will tell you you know some of these indie companies are got kind of good kind of bad with their customer relations and how they ship things and stuff like that but uh and the availability kind of could be you know could be a little bit better but all in all these figures are amazing and these indie companies are putting out a lot of good stuff whether it's four horsemen or boss fight or i'm going to leave out some other names or october toys but put out some really good stuff um but yeah, I, I wish you could find stuff like this in the toy aisles at your normal stores and stuff like that, but you're not. But uh, get online, go into BigBadToyStore.com or go to, you know, MythicLegions.com, SourceHorseman.com or StoreHorseman.com. Check it out, see what you can find. And um, yeah, these are epic figures, epic fun, just really, really great. Harking back to the days with like D&D &D and stuff like that and just uh, super phenomenal. Anyways, thanks for checking out my video, guys, and I'll have more reviews on the way. All right, y'all have a good one.